balancing your pocketbook will be even more challenging this year. Everything from food to electricity to housing all going up. And local experts say our 40 year high inflation rate is going to stick around. In some ways, seven or eight percent inflation doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. In January, prices climbed an annual rate of 7.5 percent. Prices not seen since February of 1982. Dr. Russell Evans, interim dean of Minder School of Business at Oklahoma City University, says the high inflation rate is becoming disruptive and harder to adjust to. It's significantly outside of the target that policymakers set. The goal is to keep inflation at about 2% per year. Uh, keep it at about 2%. It should be predictable. We all know it's coming. It's easy to plan for. It's easy to adjust. You know, cost of living adjustments. Evan says there's two reasons behind the record price hikes, the COVID pandemic and policy. And it's done two things. It's reduced the amount of stuff available to buy. These are the supply chain disruptions. And then policy from the pandemic has pumped a tremendous amount of money into the economy. So you have more money with which to buy goods and services. Consumer prices for food, electricity and housing rising the most. Experts say the nation's high inflation rate is hitting middle income families the hardest. Their salaries haven't gone up. At the same time, maybe they don't have a stock of assets that have in increased in value. It's that group that's probably feeling it the worst right now. Evan says households are going to have to creatively navigate around these high inflation rates as they're likely to stick around into 2023.